Welcome to Joliet Memorial Stadium. Live from Joliet, Illinois, the beginning of the Mid-States Football League campaign. And two new teams making their debuts into this new division. Our Chicago Chaos ready to host the Twin City Jets. I'm Joseph Gregory along with my commentator here, Mike Heim. How you doing today, Mike? I'm doing great. Looks like a great day for football. Tell the players are excited to start off the new season. The Chaos are just starting this league after having a lot of success in their previous leagues. And we're interested to see the new competition. Should be a lot of fun. Yes, I got a chance to speak to a lot of the coaches before today's, tonight's game. And they all have a bitter taste in their mouth from how last season ended. Ready to look for some new challenges and new competition in the Mid-States Football League. It, it's almost a dangerous conversation to bring up around them sometimes how last season ended. But they're using that as fire. Yes, they are. And they did a great job recruiting a lot of guys. I want to say 6% of the roster is new. Usually that much turnover is kind of a bad thing. But these guys when I'm recruiting, they have a bunch of huge athletic guys. I'm really excited about it. Wade Crone of the Twin City Jets has the ball on the tee. He's ready to kick it deep. Cody Gilliard on one side of the field for, for the chaos. And Deshaun Sutton is the other return man for the chaos. We're ready for football live from Joliet Memorial Stadium. Referee has his hand in the air. And we are off and running for the 2017 Chicago Chaos football season. Welcome to the Middle States Football League. It's Gilliard at the 10, 15, 20 to the 25-yard line. He broke a tackle by number 36, so good job getting the extra eight yards off of that play. Excuse me, that's Devion Hodges on that return. So first and 10 for the Chaos at the 25-yard line. So the quarterback for the Chicago Chaos is Shuchuk, and he is a great guy. He actually went to a training camp, or a tryout for the Winnipeg Boo Bombers. Should be excited to see him play. Yes, and he was very stoked about getting that bad taste out of his mouth when I talked to him before the game started. Here we are, first and ten. Fake the handoff, and it's given to Jarrell Johnson. Jackson to the 30. She's to the 35, to the 37-yard line. Chaos pick up 12, and they have a first down. Great run, took three tacklers to get him. They tried a few arm tackles, and that will not work in this league. Yeah, very physical run right there by Jarrell Johnson. And a hurry up, a hurry up offense right now employed here by the Chaos. This looks like a wildcat look. Defensive back Patrick Nelson takes over the quarterback and hands it off to Jarrell Johnson, and he's got a gain of about five. The Twin City Jets loaded up the side, so they felt he knew it was coming and didn't matter. They still got it. good five yards out of the play. Good blocking up front. And the hurry up offense continually to be employed here by the chaos. As Nelson will get ready to take the snap in the shotgun formation. Play action. He throws it low. Intended for Donnell Salas. You can see they ran the ball twice to the right side and tried for a pass going to the left. They're trying to keep the same defensive members on the field. The defense is playing in a 4-3 right now, which is a traditional defense. Should work to the Chaos' favor. And now a very crucial third and five to try to keep that defense on the field for Twin City. Chaos, Nelson back to receive the snap. Shotgun formation, two receivers on each side. Takes the snap, drops it, and throws it incomplete. Intended for... Eric Stevenson. So the chaos will punt with Dominic Kozlowski. So the Cats showing a great run game. The passing is a little rust right now, but it is the first game of the season. First time going full bore. Yep. Return man for the Twin City Jets is James Dealworth. First punt of the season. After the initial first down of the season for the chaos. Oh, and the punter counted his men, saw his one short, and he got the guy on the field. So heads up play by the punter. And Malik Harris now taking over the return man duties as he switched number 24, Dealworth, into a, another position as a gunner. Kozlowski has the snap. Punt in over in, kind of short, bounced. And guess what? Dealworth got it anyway. <laughs> Returned about three yards. 
to his own 39. Heads up play. It's really dangerous to touch a bouncing punt because, again, if, they, if you touch it and the defense or the punt team recovers it, it's their ball. So heads up play got a few good yards out of it. So the Twin City Jets were taking over with some pretty good field position as they have their first possession. Also their first game here in the Mid-States Football League. So they're doing the same game plan the Chaos are trying to prove their point in the new league. Quarterback Matthew Coster. He is a big man. Yes, he is. There's a lot of football going on tonight, and we'll talk about that as uh, this play gets started. Or after. Single back. Costa still having some words with his running back. They put three men, three receivers to the left and one to the right. Shotgun formation. Man in motion is Malik Harris, and he's tackled for a loss of about five yards. He's trying to come around on the end around. Yeah, that play was stumped out pretty quickly. Middle linebacker showed up in a hurry, number 52. Great job. Nick Olsen was on the tackle. You will hear Nick Olsen's name a lot. I've seen him in practice a few times, and he is always going full bore. I'm not sure if he realizes it's only practice. Second down and 14 upcoming for the Jets. Traditionally, this is a passing situation, especially after that first running attempt went so bad for the Jets. Come out in the spread formation again. Costa waits on the snap. Nick Olsen's down the line. Here's Costa back to pass. It's complete. Malik Harris back to the original line of scrimmage. Tackled again by Nick Olsen, who's got two tackles to start the game. Be third and about 10 here for coming up for the Jets. They try to hurry up a little bit. Well, good thing Nick Olsen's running bright green so we can see him all game long. Coster back on his third down attempt. He throws it. And he's got Harris. Let's well, see, so you guys know there's a. Oh, he had a flat. Looks like it was declined. But there are a lot of games going on for indoor football right now. There are four playoffs games going on right now as we speak in the Champions Indoor Football League. So we'll give you the highlights on that as the game goes on. Yes, Twin City has their initial third down for the season. Shotgun formation. Running back Larry Carroll back in the backfield with the quarterback Coster. There's the snap. Coster. Looked like he wanted to run. Still looks like he wants to run. Floats a dangerous pass out to the left flat for his running back Carroll, and it's incomplete. I think and he was lucky that the defensive backs did not pick that ball up earlier because was, that was a duck flying way to get caught. Yeah, that definitely looked like a broken play. Like had to be some type of miscommunication on the offense. If you look at the replay here, Costa looked like he wanted to run a quarterback draw. Then the line just closed that down completely, and he just floated out there to Carroll, who was surrounded by about two or three chaos players. He looked like he had two plays in his head. He wasn't sure which one to go with until it was already too late. So here's the punt upcoming for the Twin City Jets. And we have a timeout early by Twin City. So Nick Olson definitely showed his game already. Quick two tackles, and he was in on the uh, was on the third play. But when you're on two out of three, it's not bad to start off a game. Yes, very strong defensive effort started today by the Chicago Chaos. The defensive coordinator, Coach Sam, who I had a chance to talk to before the game, said losing last year's game in the playoffs, 14 to 12, as a defensive coordinator just stuck in his crow sort of all off season thinking about two potential fourth down stops that was missed by his chaos defenders and they come out pretty fired up to start this season against Twin City. When you've had much success as chaos has had, you expect to win those games. The finally is a heartbreaker like that. It's just devastating after winning three championships in four years. Yeah, the chaos anxious to get that championship winning taste back on their side of the ball. 
as we get ready to have this punt. Is it partially blocked by the chaos? And it will a very good roll for the Jets. And it rolls down to about the 31 yard line. I don't think they could have drawn that one up. Still either. rolling. I'm sorry. Rolls out to about the 28 yard line. The punter is only about seven yards deep. Usually they're about 15 yards deep. So, a really yeah, interesting was, lineup. It was a very strange formation right there. You almost thought it was one of those quarterback punts that you usually get when there's like. At the 40-yard line, they're driving too far for a field goal, too close for a punt. Get uh, some Doug Flutie action from the Canadian Football League. Have him drop kick it. So now the chaos come out for their second possession. See if they run some more wildcat. Michael Shuchuk, the quarterback for the chaos right now, ready to take the snap. And Shuchuk can run, but there's a lot of great athletes, so you'd rather have them have the ball. Jarrell Johnson next to him in the backfield. Play action, he drops back. Shoot Chuck, know where to throw the ball. He decides to tuck it and run it. And he's got about three yards to the 30. You see the uh, good run block, even on a play that's not a run design. Look at the replay right here. Tried to stay with, like he had an option on the right side, but it apparently was covered. And he had to tuck it and get what he could of it. So Michael Shoot Chuck with a very smart play, getting what he could on that play. Preserving the possession. Here's second and about seven right here for the. Chicago Chaos, and they hand it off to number 25, C.J. Young. And he thunders ahead to the 34. I think you'll see a lot of this kind of football, a lot of good, strong running up and forth. I don't see a whole lot of wildcat throughout the game, but between the tackles, they'll make the mark, I believe. I feel like with a game this early in the season being the first game of the season, a lot of feeling out by both teams, trying to see what works against these defenses right now. You're exactly right. Beginning of the season, not a lot of plays in the book yet. Third and five. Chaos here. Shoot Chuck throws it across the middle. Got a man wide open all the way to the 47. Great job breaking the tackle and getting the extra seven yards. I believe that's Shoot Chuck's first completion. Aaron the Hall day. on the catch. And a gain of 12 yards and a first down chaos. And they stand this hurry up offense. First and 10. Shoot Chuck back to pass. Throws it deep and incomplete. Had two receivers in the area, George Vitas and also Eric Stevenson. Apparent miscommunication on that play. Yeah, that looked like a timing play that got that went off on the wrong foot to begin with. Because Shoot Chuck took his drop and threw it right there looking for him. It's a very interesting strategy right now employed by the chaos standing in this hurry up offense. And they're right back at it. Second down. Throws it to the left side. Bobbled but caught. Nice open field tackle. And it's Donnell Silas with his first catch of the season. Excuse me. Nice open field tackle by 22 for the Jets. Uh, got around the ankles. They'll drag him down. Last tackle made by Stephon Dunmars for Twin City. Third down and nine right now for Chicago. Suchuk takes the snap. Oh, and a dropped pass by Aaron Hall. Looked like he was ready to run before he got it. Had some, had some rooms. The chaos had a middle screen set up. Yeah, I believe you're right. I think he's looking at the touchdown before he got the ball all the way in you Look his at hands. the replay right here. They really, this play really could have went somewhere if he, if he makes this catch. I mean, the blocking is all set up for him. He might have had one man to beat in the middle. Made a good blocking down Felix after that one man, and but you never know what could have happened. The drop pass means a missed opportunity, and now the Chaos will have to punt the ball back to the Twin City Jets. Malik Harris down, ready to re get that punt for the Jets. The punt by Kozlowski. Short punt. It's a bounce. Harris will let it roll, and it rolls dead right around the 18 of Twin City. Well, the Jets will come out this time, hope for a little more momentum. I expect them to try a little bit more running this time. Yeah, a little bit more north and south running instead of trying to um the trick plays against what looks to be a pretty 
athletic and fast chaos defense. Yeah, the chaos are very quick, very fast, and very strong. So when you go against that, getting cute doesn't really help you very often. You gotta go right for it. We have a soccer net. It has found its way onto the field somehow, some way. That's one of the new rules. If it's a tie game, it goes to a shootout. And the chaos, I'm sorry, the Twin City Jets players, so like some of the linemen, helping out with maintenance around the stadium, moving that net out of the end zone. Player safety. About integrating sports, <laughs> integrating soccer and the football. Bring everyone together, bring all yeah. the fans together. Chaos broadcast brought to you by Husky Hike. Looks like the Jets had one too many guys on the field. Looks like they got squared away now. Matt Coster looking over the defense of the Chaos with his running back Larry Carroll in the background in the backfield with him. First and ten for the Jets. And he hands it off to Carroll, who's got a hole in the middle, 25. He hit hard at the 30, break at the 25, broke the tackle initially, and then brought down at the 26 by Nick White of the Chaos. That was good running. He got it popped a few times, but no one wrapped him up. Very hard run there. Pretty close. Look at the replay here. A little draw action out the spread. One, two broken tackles. And Cornell Johnson, the cornerback, he's got to bring his arms to that tackling party right there. First and ten as Twin City was given a first down on that mark. Johnson's an amazing athlete, amazing football player. So you'll see him make a lot of plays today. That wasn't one of them. Let's see if Matt Coster keeps this offense in that shotgun. And he will. I have a feeling we'll see shotgun for 95% of the plays. Carroll in the backfield with him. First and 10, Twin City. Hands it off again to Carroll. Carroll to the 30. Carroll still moving the pile. He moves across the 35 to the 36-yard line. And Carroll's looking good. The Castle will have to key on him. He's doing north-south running, going through guys if possible. If you figure if this running game keeps up, it's only going to open up that passing game. Exactly. And the uh, they need a little help getting those guys running right for the quarterback. So doing those draws will keep them back on their heels a little bit. Second down for the Jets. First down for the Jets. Incomplete pass. Costa was pressured that time by Nick White. And Nick White got in his face a little bit. And as soon as you get a quarterback's face, well, the cliche goes, you'll get him off his timing. And that ball was nowhere catchable for any receiver. Second down coming up for the Twin City Jets. Nick Olson's taking a breather. We're going to see if the Twin City Jets get back to their running game. Had so much success right there with... Carroll giving them those little runs up the middle. Let's see if they go back to that. As Coster has the Jets up in a shotgun formation. Three receivers to the right. Coster hands it off to Carroll again. He's to the 40. He's to the 41-yard line. Tackle by Jamel Dudley, defensive lineman. They're not going to cheat him out of his touches. Look at some touches. Those are tough runs. Yes, they are. A lot of draw fakes. Trying to get the defense off their uh, pass timing. And more hurry up offense on this third and five for Twin City. Carroll and Costa right next to each other in the backfield. Hand off to Carroll. And he is stopped at the line of scrimmage. That was a great defensive a stand. Host of chaos defenders. They crashed Like up. Demetrius Morris, the linebacker, was there first. Yeah, they crashed down the line, and um, they just totally disrupted the passing play, or the running play. So it will be fourth and five. Look at their replay. They try to run that ball to the right, and they just stack it up. Jamel Dudley was also there, but Jamel Dudley was there on the initial stop and allowed Morris to come in and clean that up. 
Great play to get him off uh, the field on third down. So fourth and five. And there is a punt. He's back Come, in the... This is Wade Crone to do the punting for the Twin City Jets here. Bad snap. Crone had to go to his right to get a very short punt. Picked up by Johnson. And he's all the way back to the Twin City 42-yard line. So the chaos will start off with very good field position. Look at the replay. That snap was terrible. He had to run all the way up to it almost the, where they started the punt from the first drive. And it's a miracle that it wasn't blocked. And then a very heads-up return by Johnson. So the chaos start off with very good field position right here. Starting off at the Twin City 42-yard line. And shoot Chuck like usual is in the shotgun. Michael shoot Chuck in the spread. Referees blow their whistle. We have a timeout, Twin City. That's their second one they've used already. But still 535 left in the first quarter here from Joliet Memorial Stadium. The inaugural game of the Miss States Football League season between the Twin City Jets and the Chicago Chaos tied at zero. With 5.35 left in the first quarter. Yeah, there's a lot of feeling out to do with the team. You can tell us the communication problems. With these teams, it's hard to practice as much as you wish you could. So sometimes little things like getting all the players on the right time takes a game or two in this league. And the players also lucky to receive the hottest day in Illinois thus far this year. <laughs> it's a great day to wear pads and a helmet in the hot sun. And you wonder about these hurry-up offenses that both of the teams are employing. They don't really work if you can't get enough first downs to keep the defense on the field and get them fatigued. Yeah, right now, just in the first quarter, it hasn't been too many long drives, so it's going to be a wash until someone gets something going. Here's the chaos right now. First and 10 from the Twin City 42. Shuchuk takes it, gives it off to Jarrell Johnson, and he is tackled at the, in the backfield for a loss of three. Yeah, it looks like they brought a linebacker up to the line to help block up some of the gaps so he couldn't go anywhere. And Number they had three guys in the backfield right Number away. 51, Millie, Jeff Millican was there first. He was there with bad intentions. I think that was their best penetration so far. So for the chaos. Second and 13 for the chaos. Shoot Chuck back to pass. Throws it off the hands of Deshaun Dodges. It was good protection. Sorry, with Deshaun Sutton. Andrew Blumenshine of the Jets had a nice play there. Shuchuk had the time, but he swatted down out of the air. You look at him on that replay. Did plenty of time here. 54 he reads the play. Oh, it was I, I wondered did, the pass. I wonder if the receiver think that ball was going to make it through, but it was a pretty good throw right there by Shuchuk. Third and 13 here for the chaos. Shuchuk, five-step drop, got a man. Well, he doesn't have a man. He was looking for Eric Stevenson. Pass incomplete. I think that's another one where he saw himself running before he caught the ball. He's in pretty good position. Ran the, ran the route very well. You look at that replay. I don't know if that pass, like, the ball got on Stevenson before he was ready to get his head around for it quite. Yeah, and now. a issue on that one, too. So the chaos start off with terrific field position at the 42-yard line, and they go back three yards. And they will not have to punt the ball back to the Jets. Dominic Kozlowski getting a lot of work in his first quarter, already his third punt. Well, at least the chaos can say they're winning the kicking game. Are they really? <laughs> it's been pretty rough. Again, it's the first game of the first season of this league for them. So a couple of communication problems seen right there as someone has a run the field the last second. This is going to iron out pretty quickly. No preseason for these guys. They're just working out on the fly. It's Kozlowski's punt. Low line drive. Did that touch a jet player? I wasn't sure. Did that touch a jet player? That's what they're setting on the chaos sideline. The line. ball was picked up by the chaos at the eight-yard line. Oh, they're signaling for the Jets ball. And the referees are giving the ball to the Jets. That was very close. The Chaos was pretty sure they had uh, something on their side. Yeah, that it, ball almost touched the foot of Lamont Miller, one of the gunners for the Jets. Look at that replay. I think it just missed him. Just missed his heel. Oh, that was pretty close, but, yeah, I think you're right. Good play. 
I'm sure you still get a little conversation with the coach afterwards about appropriate distance from a live ball. Well, Mike, you said the chaos was winning the battle of the kicking game. They definitely won the battle here as they flipped the field position, and now the Jets will have to start inside their own 10-yard line. So the chaos should, uh, well, I would assume that the Jets will be running inside. That's been their best one so far. And every time the Jets try to go to the outside, they lose a few yards. Yes, I'm wondering is uh, it be a good time for some first down play action, especially bagged up by their own end zone. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Well, it might be for us. <laughs> they have two running backs in right now, Darren Utley, number 29, and number 30, Daniel Matthews, back there with Coster in the backfield. You have thunder and lightning, really, with those two. And thunder's blocking. Costa looking over the chaos defense. Takes the snap. Hands it off to Utley. Utley gets to about the 15-yard line. Gain of about six. Yeah, right and now. Second it's and four coming up. It's not really a scheme battle right now. Right now it's just who's digging down and getting the better angle. Who's having the better technique on the mm -hmm. line. Didn't quite run that last play up the middle. Ran it off sort of left off tackle. But doing a lot of running from that spread formation. Well, I think that's, I think that's good for them because they can get those people blocking or covering the tight ends out of there. Get as few bodies up in your middle lane as you can. So the chaos might be starting to cheat inside a little bit when they're being spread out like that. Second and four coming up here for the Twin City Jets. Matthews and Utley still in the backfield with Coster. And that is a play. <laughs> <laughs> the the center sure didn't look around. like he's the center didn't start or the offensive line didn't really start when the center started. This has to be a false start. I think that play was just called to protect the quarterback. There's twenty two players on the field and only about ten of them were participating in that last play. And none of the offensive line were. That's very And bad it's going news. against the chaos. Offsides. They have a better luck than we do. It's not how I saw it. So the first down for the Twin City Jets. Well, I believe it's actually about six, second and seven, or now second and five. I'm not quite sure that our numbers on our screen are accurate right now. Ah. Second and four. All right, two in the backfield again. Flanking the quarterback. Coster throws it. Complete. He's got a completion, but didn't go anywhere. Didn't go anywhere. Might have lost a yard. Good tackle. Good tackle right there by the chaos. Don't worry, guys. Have all the cliches ready for the rest of the game. I'll save them all. That was Devlin Brooks on that last catch. Third down and two upcoming for Twin City, trying to keep this drive alive that started way back at their own nine. Utley and Matthews still the running backs in the backfield with Costner. Signals being called out by Costner. Slot receiver is kind of in his own little area. Usually it's close to the line or close to the receiver. They hand it off. And they've got the first down with Darren Utley running up the middle to about the 22-yard line. Having a lot of success running up the middle out of the spread, Mike. Yeah, they're doing a great job. Uh, I be believe sometime the KS will start cheating a little more and more inside because that's the only play they're giving up. When you're able to take out the runs outside, you're allowed to cheat inside a little more. <laughs> City takes over here. First down. Coster. 
like he got somebody to jump in the neutral zone. This might be a free play for the Jets. Throws the ball deep. Oh. That was a free, a gimme play. It was in his hands, and he dropped it. He'll be in with that drop one. Drop pass. Drop pass for number 15, Brian Thomas. Well, the Cats were a little too overexcited. They bit on the fake high call. So the first guy went, and the second guy followed well, him. Only consolation for Brian Thomas is drop on with the count. the running that the Jets have been doing so far in this first quarter. Exactly. Because all the other passes have been pretty short passes. And they're keeping something up their sleeve for a bit. First and five here. Upcoming for the Twin City Jets. Coster. Waiting on the snap. Hands it off. Matthews. He has stopped at the line of scrimmage. He basically ran right into the line, and the Cavs were happy to help him back down to the ground. Jake Sackle, defensive lineman right there for the Cavs, there to help bring Matthews down. And that's the end of the first quarter. Twin City and the Chicago Chaos, 0-0 at the end of one. We'll be back for the second quarter live here from Joliet Memorial Stadium. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting is now the Illinois Media School. We've been an institution in the Chicagoland area now for 30 years. Because the broadcasting world is always changing, so are we. Not only are we teaching radio and television production, but now you can learn all aspects of the media industry, like web design. You can even specialize in TV or film, sports broadcasting, and even sales. No matter where you are in the Chicagoland area, we have a campus near you. The Illinois Media School. Be on TV, be on radio, be on 